What's going on YouTube, West Hobbies RC here. Today I wanted to do a video on which way your tail rotor should be on a motor driven tail helicopter. I have seen countless videos and pictures of people that have had their tail rotor on backwards and they don't understand why the helicopter tail won't hold or it sounds funny or the tail performance is extremely poor. So today we have the Blade 230S V2 here. Uh, taking the main blades off for safety. Uh, you could unplug the motor however you want to do it, but I did it so I can demonstrate the sound. But if you look on any motor-driven tail helicopter, the blade is pushing the air. So you are wanting, you're, when you give it input, you want to push the tail to the left, which pushes the nose to the right. So if you look this way, you, when you give it input, you're pushing the tail. The motor is pushing the tail to the right when you give it right, and the motor is slowing down, which in the torque is pulling the tail to the left, the torque of the main rotor. So when you put your tail blade on, you want to make sure that it is pushing air. So the basically, you want it to be facing to the point to where it's grabbing air and it's pushing. So it's constantly pushing the tail when you're feeding you know, right input. And when the gyro is countering it, it's pushing the tail, which counteracts the torque from the main rotor. So you always want to look at your tail blades on any motor-driven helicopter. And you want to look where the blade is scooped. And this is the proper way to have the tail blade on. Okay, and it's very important that the tail blade is on properly because if the tail blade is not on, like I explained, you're going to get really bad tail performance. won't hold at all. It's going to sound really funny. And it, like I said, it doesn't matter what brand helicopter it is. You know, here's the OMP Hobby M2. And if you look, tail blade is the same. You are pushing the air, pushing the nose to the right. When you give it right rudder, the motor slows down and it will go left. But you want to have the blade on it. And I've seen it on the M2 as well. I've seen people put the tail blade on backwards. You want it to where it's pushing the air. I don't know how well you can see that, but again, you know, that's the M2 tail blade. The M1, again, same thing. You are pushing the tail. This is the proper way of the tail rotor. And even the MCPX BL2, same thing. This is the proper way that the tail rotor should be on as you are pushing the tail nose to the right, tail to the left. So we're well, going to do a little demonstration here. We'll move the M2 out of the way. And I want to pull the tail blade off. We're going to put, so first let's do it to where the tail blade is on properly now. So we're going to flip off the throttle hold. We're going to come up from throttle. Okay, that's the way it should sound. We'll flip throttle hold here. All right, let's take our one and a half millimeter Allen and we're going to pull the tail screw out of the middle. We're just going to go ahead and put the tail blade on backwards just so we can hear the difference in the tail rotor sound. Uh, I won't be putting Loctite on it this time because I'm just going to pull it back apart, but it is very important to put a drop of Loctite when you're putting this together. So here's our blade. So you can look here. You have your leading edge of the blade and your trailing edge of the blade. And as the blade spins around to the left, it is grabbing the air and pulling it backwards. If it's in this orientation, it goes on this orientation of the helicopter. So it spins this way. It's grabbing the air and pushing it this way. So let's go ahead and put it on the helicopter here on the 230. There is a flat spot in the tail rotor and there is also a flat spot in the tail shaft, which I don't think you, oh, maybe you could see it. Let's see, where is it at? Right here. There it is. So it is very important when you put your tail blade on that you line up your flat spot in the blade and your flat spot to the adapter housing here. Should push right on. That's normal way. So now we're just going to go ahead and turn it around. And we're going to do the same thing, push it on to where it lines up, which I do not have it lined up. Give me one second. Okay. And it's a little hard. It's also very hard to put the tail blade on backwards. It doesn't slide right on like it should. So 
So just for this demonstration, we are not going to put Loctite in, but you should always, always put a drop of Loctite. But not, and you when you tighten these up, you just want to snug them down. You don't want to go over tight, you know, let the Loctite do the work. If you tighten it up too much, you risk cracking right in here of the hub. You'll actually crack this, and I've had blades come apart from tightening them too much, especially on the Blade 230. These tail blades on the V2, they're much better than the V1, but they're still very weak. So now we have the tail rotor on backwards on purpose. So as you can see, we have our leading edge, our trailing edge of the blade. It is going to be one. The motor is still going to spin the same direction, but the blade is not going to be efficient because right now the blade's efficiency is this way and not this way. And you can hear the difference. So let's flip throttle hold off. Let's come up on the throttle. And you can actually hear how the tail rotor sounds. It, it doesn't sound right at all. So like I, like I said in the beginning, it's going to cause very poor tail performance. So guys, it is super, super important that your tail blade is on properly. Right now, it is on backwards. So we're going to go ahead and put the tail blade on properly. And I've seen a lot of people with the 230 having horrible tail issues or even the M2. Uh, I've seen quite a few posts of the M2 and the tail blades on backwards and they can't keep the tail under the helicopter. And I have a lot of flights on both of my M2s because I have two of them and I have a lot of flights on this helicopter too. And tail performance is decent. On the M2, it's fantastic. On the 230, it's good. I mean, for what it is for this type of helicopter, the tail performance is solid. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it on the right way. So the tail rotor goes on this way. Again, look for the key in the blade, the key in the, in the adapter shaft, and we're just gonna push it. It slides right on super easy. So if your tail rotor is hard to get on, it's for two reasons. One, you have it on backwards. Two, you don't have it lined up. So now we have the tail rotor lined up properly. You can see here, this is the proper way for the tail rotor to be. We are going to put a drop of blue Loctite, which is my preferred Loctite, on the bolt here, just the tiniest bit. We don't need to go overboard. I mean, as you can see, it is the tiniest bit of Loctite. Okay, and then again, we're just going to run it in here until it snugs up. Not crazy tight. We don't want to crack the tail blade, and we don't want to ruin it. Just a little quarter turn snug. Let the Loctite do the work. And then let's do one more final throttle test here to make sure that it sounds right and the tail feels right. So again, we are gonna flip throttle, hold off, come up on the throttle just a little bit. And that sounds and feels perfect the way it should. Let's flip throttle, hold back on. So I hope this video helped a few of you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments down below. Uh, I thank everybody for subscribing and growing the channel as fast as it's been growing. I really appreciate all the subscribers and, and all the, the likes that you guys have been giving me and the views. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to, uh, to comment down below and take care and have a great day.